Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'm going to be taking you through how I paint the bone armor seen on my Lumineth Realm Lords. Uh, this has been one of the more requested uh, how-tos of how I go about painting this. So yeah, I just thought I'd bring you through. It's going to be a pretty quick one today. But we're going to start with uh, one part of Skeleton Horde to two parts Contrast Medium. And we're just going to aim to apply that evenly all across the shield here. And now I'm just using a Venari Dawn Rider shield as an example today. But of course you can get the same effect um, on any other model uh, that you choose to use. And I should mention as well, the undercoat that I'm doing this over is Wraithbone. So apply that ev evenly and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so now that that's dried, uh, you can see that it's already come together quite well. This is why I love contrast paint so much. They're just a really useful tool to have. And for the next step, we're going to be using Screaming Skull. So just get a nice consistency. And just as neatly as you can, just start applying that, ensuring that you do leave some of the contrast in the recesses, of course. And having added the contrast medium as well, you can tell that the skeleton horde isn't as dark as it would be otherwise. So it's definitely worth practicing with um, using the contrast mediums. Because worst case scenario, you can always go over it again uh, with another with a second layer of contrast, just to darken it further. And just while I'm running through this part as well, just for details even such as this, I couldn't recommend the Raphael 8404 size 1 any higher. It's a fantastic brush and it's anywhere between $20 to $25 Australian. Um, I'm not too sure on prices elsewhere in the world, but it's definitely a, a tool worth having. So as you can see with two simple steps, it's already come together quite well. Just to add a little bit more detail to it, I am going to do a final highlight of a roughly 50-50 mix of Screaming Skull and White Scar. However, it doesn't really matter too much if you end up doing something somewhat like a 40-60 for example. And of course, just really take your time with uh, final highlight details. Well, just in general, take your time. So the more time you take, the less likely there is to be a mistake, and therefore you won't have to go back and spend more time fixing the mistakes. Because I've definitely had times where I just, you know, kind of speed paint a little bit, and um, I end up going back and having to fix those errors. It'd be quite annoying. Just remember as well with this final highlight, um, the consistency of Screaming Skull and White Scar can be a little bit thick sometimes, so I like to add a little bit more water than usual, and then I just have a really small amount of paint on the brush. As you can see, there's not much on there at all. Because as I mentioned in previous videos, I mean, worst case scenario in that situation is that you can just go ahead and add more paint to the brush, so it's no harm done. And the easiest way to get details in like this is just to position the model in such a way and on an angle that best suits the way that your brush 
will be hitting the model. So as you can see on the angle I've got here, it's just making getting those details in really, really easy for me. Got to be honest, I was actually quite surprised uh, at the bone armor you know, being something that people were really, really into because it is such a simple process. But um, yeah, definitely grateful for that. And I hope you guys have found this tutorial useful today. Now, there are quite a few other things I want to go through with my Lumineth Realm Lords, but just thought I would start with the bone armor. As I mentioned earlier, it has been the more requested, uh, most requested one. But there will be more to come. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.